And then finally, I'm moving to the third topic. I've already preached two sermons. The first one is the art of hearing, isn't it? The second one is many are called, isn't it? Call of God. Now I'm moving to the third topic. Because today is the last day I have to cover a lot of things. The third topic is losing, sacrificing, suffering, and dying. Wow. Losing. Everybody say losing. Losing. You see, Christians don't want to preach about losing anymore. Now we have winners, winners. Winning. We have winners chapel. We must also have losers chapel. Because Jesus said, Jesus, did Jesus say it? If you lose for my sake, you will gain. And if you hold on to your life, you will lose it. Hallelujah. So you must accept and you must realize that there is a place for losing in Christianity. You cannot have everything you used to have before. You cannot hold on to everything. Otherwise, you will lose your ministry. Anybody who is not prepared to lose will lose your ministry. You will lose your your life that God wanted to give to you. There was a certain monkey that was playing in the forest. And it was getting to evening. And the monkey's mother told him, it's getting late. All the children should come home now. It's dangerous. But the monkey continued to play. And do you know what the monkey was playing with? The monkey had found a coconut. And inside the coconut was a, a nut. You know, like ground nuts, peanuts, whatever. And the monkey has put his hand inside the coconut and has held the peanut and wanted to remove his hand out of the coconut. But he couldn't move his hand out unless he leaves the peanut and then moves the hand out like this. Do you understand what I'm explaining? But he has held it. And so the mother left and the other children told the monkey that you have to leave this and let's go. And the monkey said, no way. Uh, you are jealous of me. That is why you are telling me that I have to leave my, my, my peanuts. I will never leave it. I know you don't have one. I have one. You don't have one. And so the monkey held it. And all the other monkeys left. And he was still in the forest. It became dark. He was still trying to. And suddenly, the hunter came. And there. But he didn't kill the monkey. He caught him and took him. And when the monkey was in the cage, the monkey began to think of how stubborn he has been. He should have just lost this small peanut to save his life. Some of you are holding some small peanut. If only you just leave it. Your whole ministry, your whole life, everything will change, will change, will change. Oh! You can just leave that thing on ministry with Some of you, it's a girl. You will not leave a certain girl. She's going to spoil your whole life, your ministry. You cannot marry that girl. It's not a good girl to marry. I'm telling you. You know it. Some of you, it's a boy. You cannot, you cannot stay in the ministry with that boy. You cannot continue doing certain things. But we will not leave it. And that is why Jesus said, if you lose your life for my sake you will gain it and if you gain you will lose and so there's a place to lose something that seems precious to you yes i am a doctor i I finished medical school but I, i could have become a specialist i'm not a specialist i'm just a general doctor i would also have been like to call i'm a cardiothoracic like this one here he's a specialist and all my, all my friends and colleagues who you see on stage, they are all specialists of this special. But I can't have everything. I can't have everything. You can't have everything. You're going to have to lose something. 
If you're going to serve God, you're going to have to lose something. By all means, there will be something that you lose. And Christians must be prepared to lose things. You can't have everything. You can't have all the money. You can't have all this, all that, all whatever, and half the ministry. You will, by all means, pay a price. And that is why I wrote this book, Losing, Suffering. Christianity involves suffering. Amen. All Christians and pastors who will teach you that there's no suffering in Christ are backsliding pastors. All right? Because throughout the Bible, you see that the Bible says we are called not only to believe on his name, but also to suffer for his sake. So there's a lot of suffering and crying and tears in serving God. And you must accept it. I don't mean suffering for foolish reasons, but Christianity involves suffering and sacrificing. You must sacrifice for God and pay the price. Now, when you go throughout West Africa, you will see that the coastal cities are full of Christians. Accra, Lagos, Abidjan, um, where again? Lome, down. But when it goes up, where there's no money and there's no much development, like when we went to Zwedru, there's no road from Ganta to Zwedru, Banga to Ganta, it's all sand. And, it's, and Zwedru is far. When we left here, we got there around midnight. Far. Who would like to be there? So, we like to be in Monrovia. We like to be in Lagos. We want to be in Accra. We want to be in America. Jesus said, take up your cross and follow me. Take up your cross. Take up your cross. And follow Jesus. Take up your cross every day. Don't be ashamed to say that you know Him. Count the cost and take up your cross. Follow him. Sing it. Why don't you take up your cross? Follow Jesus. Take up your cross every day. Don't be ashamed, oh no, to say that you know him. Count the cost, take up your cross, follow him. What are you doing for your king? Have you freely given everything to the one who gave his life for you, for you? Wow. Don't just be satisfied just to know he's the one who saved your soul. So have you forgotten? What you need to do, what you need to do, just take up your cross. Follow Jesus, take up your cross every day, and don't be a 
that you know it. Count the cost. Say that you Count know it. Count the cost. It. Count the cost. Take up your cross. Take up your cross. Follow him. Follow him. Oh, count the cross. Count the cost. Take up your cross. Count the cost. Take up your cross. Count the cost. Take up your cross. Follow him. Hallelujah. There is a genuine cost for every power and every anointing that God gives. There is a cost. Amen. There is a cost. There is a price. And the price of glory is the same. Why should God sell me anointing and give me the power of God at this price. And when it comes to your turn, he will lower the price and give you without paying that price. I want to ask you a question. Why? Huh? Why should it be that I would pay that price or somebody would pay that price? When it comes to you, they change the price and there's no suffering for you. Yours is just easy, cool. Why? Why would Jesus have to carry a cross Huh? And then to receive a crown, to receive a glory, and you will not carry a cross. That's why he said, Take up your cross and fall. Not he is not the only one carrying crosses here. People think Jesus is the only one with a cross. That's why pastors wear, we wear crosses sometimes. It's not only Jesus who has, needs a cross. You and I have to pay a price. We will also suffer for what we are. And pastors, let me tell you, there is nothing like Christianity without suffering. There's nothing like Christianity without experiencing tears, weeping, and pain, and unhappiness, and sorrow in order to serve God. I'm telling you, if you want to just sail along without tears, without suffering, without experiencing anguish, then you have come to the wrong religion. Please find another religion. Do you have any other religion we can have in Liberia? You can go to that religion. This one, there is suffering. It's take up your cross and follow me. Nobody has ever served God without paying sacrifice. From Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, whoever, everybody who served God, served God with sacrifices. Hallelujah. The church is sick. We are sick because we have put aside sacrifice. Paul said, I'm not ashamed of the gospel because it is the power. A lot of people have taken away power from the church by taking away the preaching about suffering. When you preach, that's what God told me, preach about the cross. It takes away power. There's no more power. You would have thought that other religions which are doing suicide bombing and all these things, they will not be popular. They are rather growing faster because it releases power. Sacrifice always releases power into the religion. So when you have a religion and there's no more sacrifice of people, sacrifice of whatever, money, sacrifice of whatever, there's no power in that religion. I was in Malaysia and I went, there was a mountain in, in, in near Kuala Lumpur, the capital. The pastor, Assemblies of God pastor, the chairman of Assemblies of God, he took me. I was preaching at their conference. Then as we were going, he stopped by a mountain. He said, look, look, look at this mountain. It went high up like that. He said, every year, there is a religion. Their God is at the top. The God of this religion is at the top of the mountain. It's inside. So every year, they come and they take off their trousers and they walk and he showed me their steps you climb very high and they climb on their knees like this they climb on their knees on the rocks (laughs) I cannot even do one step (laughs) up the mountain and he said that every year the mountain is covered with blood where they walk on their knees and they go up there to sacrifice themselves to that God. 
There is nothing like a religion without sacrifice. So once, when all this soft Christianity that we have in capital cities, Accra, Christianity, Lagos, Abidjan, Morovia, there's a lot of soft Christianity where we are preaching prosperity. I see you receiving a car. You are the next person to drive a Mercedes Benz. I see God giving you a visa. Take it. And all these nice things that we are preaching, you get what I'm saying? Powerful prosperity preachings. You get it? It is also taking away the ability to sacrifice. Because if the pastor is teaching you how God is going to give you everything, how can he also now come around and tell you how you have to give up everything? That God has given you everything. Now give up everything. So, you have a church which has become soft. And a church which has become used to receiving. But the prosperity message is true. But this other side is also true. And it's even more true than the prosperity side. One day a pastor was preaching. Then an anointing came on him to prophesy. And he started. And he prophesied, you, you are going to be my pastor. Yeah, he was sending missionaries. You are going to be my pastor in Boston, USA. The pastor stood up and said, thank you, Jesus. I receive it. Then he turned and the prophet said, Patalabora. You are going to be my pastor in California. And the pastor said, I receive it. Then he turned to another and said, You are going to be my pastor in Frankfurt, Germany. The pastor said, I receive it. Then he pointed to another, You are going to be my pastor in New York City. The pastor said, Thank you, Jesus. Then he pointed to another and said, You are going to be my pastor in, Lo- in Togo. And the pastor said, Tofia, let it pass over my head. I refuse it in the name of Jesus. Settle, I bind you. Settle, I arrest you. Settle, I reject you. Hey! Settle, I arrest. I arrest that word. The word that came for California, it was a Holy Spirit. The one for Boston, it was a Holy Spirit. The one for Frankfurt, it was the Holy Ghost. The one for New York City, it was the Holy But for Togo, Satan, I cast you out in Jesus' name. Tofia Kwa. That is how we have become. That is why all the northern parts of the countries are becoming are falling to other religions because if you come to Ghana what you see in Accra is not what you see when you go to the north when you go to the north very poor there's no buildings very poor huts people live in huts people live in huts they they are farm there is nothing they don't speak. even they don't know the difference between Monday and Sunday every day is a day there's nothing like Monday, Tuesday. So our churches there, they have church on any day. Because every day is the same. And all those places are falling to other religions. I don't want to mention their names, but you know the other religions. Yeah. Every north of all the countries, they have been dashed them. When we went to Burkina Faso to preach, they told us, when we went to Niger, the pastor begged us, he said, come here. He said, you people at the coast, you have kept the gospel there. You didn't come up. All the whole country, there's almost no Christian there. Yeah, because you see, we Christians, we don't we have put aside the power of sacrifice. We have put it aside. It's no more something that we, we, we believe in. We don't even teach it. Which pastor would teach a series when you come to church? Oh, I'm teaching a series of sacrifice for seven weeks. Sacrifice, suffering, sacrifice, sacrifice, suffering. Who, who will do that today? If you don't, even your people will not come to your church. So, hey, what type of suffering? We can't suffer. We are going to a church where we are blessed. We need blessing. We don't need suffering. But you see, a pastor must be bold and faithful to the message that God is giving to him. Hallelujah. That is why when I wrote this book, I said, look, I don't care. Anybody, I don't, my books are not, I don't, my books are not a business. I didn't write my books. I said, write, the title is Losing suffering and you don't if you don't i don't care if you don't i don't care because I'm not, i don't do it for money 
Amen. I don't do it for me. I don't care if you don't buy it. This is the message of God. Lose it, suffer it, sacrifice, and die for Jesus. Yeah. Whether you like it or not, that's what Jesus said. Take up your cross and follow me to where? Follow me to where? Follow me to where? To go and have a party. When you are holding cross, you go for parties. So these are very, very important. So I've finished preaching the third message for today. Losing, suffering, sacrificing, and dying. Amen. Wow. How many are blessed so far? Stand on your feet and thank God for one moment. Just lift your hand and thank God. Thank God. Thank God. Shandola Bakabarandala Baba. Mandolo Moshatala Babandala 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 le rema remena 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 rembele ne menu mushida la la mama ndere le vidi le vidi le remene ndoro lo godi le vene ndere le vedere le vedere le la ribo ramandele 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 la le bara la mana ne le vene shunda la mana ka bara la le le mbo sonta nana maka pale de vendere le memamba pera ma zando ro mo de bere le beki para la mande le le bibili Tila Raman Dobro di Veleshi Belende Rebere. Oh, yes, oh, yes, oh, yes, oh, yes, oh, yes. Yes, Lord, we will hear your will. We will hear your voice. We will hear your voice. We will do your will. Thank you for the call of God. Thank you for many have called, Lord. Many you called many. Thank you called many to sacrifice, to sacrifice, to suffer, to lose something. Thank you, we are ready to lose that small thing so that we may gain your glory, we may gain your power, we may gain a place that you have called us to stand in. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Mantos meteli bore, mantelem plekete mi de shimala, mentelele me kibarandala mamando no moramo, meno lo mondelele be benderele, benere mandala la babanderele me kebono molanare, rembalananda la limborolende, benele vedere, le vedere, le vedere. Leromo shalele remena lele venende lele venende lele bolonda lele lele venende lele venende lele venende mele lo moro lo boni lele lele venende lele venende lele venende mele lo brele ve shandal manaba sandele venende rambala mama dele lele bebe mando lo moko borolo lo mama dele lele bebe le mana mana sandele lele bebe fariana la mama dele bebe de chala manda se mele le bamba ba 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 la ba fatana la mama dele lele me ke para la mama sandele lele venende le re me ma da la la ba de le le be ba la la ve le le ve le le ve le le ve le re ba la ba ba da la la ma ma da le le ve de le le ve le mo la la ma ma da le le ve de ve le le ve de 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 le 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 re le me me do la la ma ma da le le ve de le le ve de le pa ba 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 Mandolomo sebana manari de Oh hallelujah Oh hallelujah Hallelujah Father thank you Thank you for your gift Thank you for your word Thank you for your word We give you thanks Lord 
We give you praise. In Jesus' name. Amen. You may be seated. Amen. Now, this morning, I want to move to the next subject. I have shared on three areas. Each of them is a book. But just, I just gave you a little bit so that you would be stirred up to know what is in that book about. This book, Losing, Sacrificing, Many are called and how to be in the perfect will of God, which is this one. They are very, they are always three, they are always together, they are triplets, these three. Because you are called, all right, to be in the will of God and to lose and sacrifice for God. Amen. You are not called to be rich, you are called to, to suffer. Amen. Tell somebody, forget about being called to be rich. You are called to suffer. Yeah. That's how your mind should be working. Amen. If you ever become rich, thank God. This is a side effect. Hallelujah. 